toys, art, apparel, collectibles. There is only one place you can find that in. Ragmop and Goose welcomes you to Designer Con. The last year that they're gonna have it here in the Anaheim Convention Center before they go to Vegas. You're ready, I'm ready. It's time to head back in to the Anaheim Convention Center. This time, my first go around at Designer Con. Let's go. you ever want to build and I'm going to get one of the most customizable bears, it's here at Bear Brick. You can get this in many different forms, such as the mascot of Decon. <laughs> it's so cool. You can definitely get it if you love Disneyland. You can get it in Mickey and Minnie, uh, Minnie Mouse. If you loved Knott's Berry Farm and the Peanuts Gang, you can get, definitely get them in Snoopy form as well. But there is so many different types of bear bricks here to definitely choose from here at Designer Con, man. It is so incredible. This line is exponentially packed. I was here on Friday. The line went all the way around. Dude, these are highly sought after. It is so great, man. People are looking at pamphlets to look at different ones that they want to actually purchase. If you're not into the larger figures, they do have mini figures as well. So everything is priced out on each and every figure. Ah! Look, who, uh, look hey. what we found here. Hey. <laughs> what's your name? Honey Butter Popcorn. Oh. Yeah. What's the booth? Rag Mop and Goose. Yeah. Yeah, that's us. We're here. <laughs> And I see We're your friends over there too. Huh? Yeah, look at this. Look, look how cute this is. How cute is that? <laughs> Did you wake up today and think I was going to see a live puppet? Well, you were, you were right. We're here, live! Designer Con 2023. Stanley, give him a dance, shall we? Dance, look at that little button shield. That's the cutest little button entertainment right there. <laughs> oh, look at those feet. <laughs> Fastest feet this side of the West. So we feature all different types of arts here at Designer Con. So again, the camera is the camera. So if you guys do see something in the background, it's hard for me to actually edit that out. And just kind of close your eyes a little bit. Hi, I'm Mark Tavares. This is my booth. I paint characters, mostly pop culture related, as you can see. A lot of science fiction and horror. Uh, those are my favorites. What are they inspired by? A lot of these paintings are done for art shows that I, I get to be in, and the themes dictate what, what I'm going to do. And um, I've started trying to make frames that uh, are incorporated into the painting itself. And with this particular one, it uh, I've been wanting to work with uh, styrofoam, which is a weird thing. So I've seen some carvers who do amazing stuff with block styrofoam. So basically I carved the rough foam, uh, coated it with epoxy resin, and then put layers of epoxy putty on top of it for all the detail and whatnot. Wow. And yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much thank for your you. time. Really where, where can it. they find you again? Uh, MarkTavares.com, that's my website. Awesome. See, so, like, these boots are so immersive because you want to just do this. Ah. So this is why we come to Designer Con. Now we're gonna we're not gonna deep dive into every single character, but we're gonna highlight some of the fun ones. Dude, look at this they have Empire Jerk. Oh my gosh, me lying awake thinking of some <laughs> I said four four years ago. That's funny. <laughs> Check it out, dude. Evil plus. And look at this man. See, they'll never suspect him because they got a mustache. See, they mustache you a question. Oh, it's Bobby. Look at it, it's Bobby. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look, it says consume conform trooper. And they got Han in a Tom Tamalite. <laughs> that is funny, dude. They even have a toy for your thoughts and prayers. It's 100% genuine, guys. All right, so if you actually, I'm going to try to zoom it in the best way I can. It has the star hairs. All the star hairs. That's funny. <laughs> they got Tuscan Jones in the last boat ride. Oh, they got the Vader Video Club. This, okay. You get you, every dips different types of toys, but dude, you cannot, cannot get toys like this. This is awesome. <laughs> 
These are toys you definitely want to come on out and scope out. All right, so there's one vendor I would want to give a huge highlight to. They've been a really good friend of mine to my family as well. It is the one and only BB Create. Check out this interview I did with them. Hello there. Hello. How are you guys? Hi, I'm Miguel. I'm Michael. We are BB Create. Uh, BB Create is, uh, you know, two best buds, me and Mike. We've known each other for a little bit over 30 years now, since yeah. high school. We might not look it, but we are we are old men. But we love art. Uh, that's how we kind of unified together. We do a lot of things that we pull from inspiration in regards to just things that we enjoy. That's kind of the rule is we have to be fans of that first before we start connecting to the other fan by doing illustrations and artwork. And we change all of that into pins, patches, prints. You know, Mike and I have you know created so many memories doing this about eight years now. We started, uh, yes. well, it's going to be coming up on eight years next year. So March 16th, 2016 when was, was the birth of BB Create. This is our first pin that we've ever, or first design. And our pin is right here. So I carry that with us. And it kind of has like a little explanation as to why he's very significant to us. He even is right up here chilling. So we did actually start off with our brand doing a lot of Star Wars mashup. Uh, that is still a, a majority of the pins we actually do right now, but we have actually expanded We're going into like anime, pop culture, a lot of just different uh, styles and everything like that. On our side here we do have some stickers, we do have pins, we have prints, we do apparel, also like masks and socks and ties. All of the pins we have and that we have patches as well at the end. And this is usually a show we do have a lot of majority of our, our product for you to come out. So whenever you do come out to one of our shows, you usually see a lot of what we sell. It's uh, one of those things that's real special to us. The other thing I know Mike had mentioned is regards to like our different booth. We try to find a connection and try to give an experience for our customers because we're not just trying to build just a customer, trying to build a community. So when you come and shop with us, it's memorable. You get to like just talk with us. We're just two regular dudes that would like to connect to another fan and uh, kind of bond over the same things that we love together with you. Kind of makes that whole deal of building a community. You know, we love the people that come through, yep. that support us. I mean, we will, we will not be anywhere without the people that carry us through this whole experience, this journey. It's one of those things where it's very humbling to see where we started and now where we're at and then where we're going to keep going to. We just, just want to have some fun. That's yep. what it is. Majority of us, we are based in Southern California. We do a lot of Southern California shows. We have actually started to branch out a lot out to further shows. We already, Miguel has this done in New York, New yeah, York, New York. Time, not too long ago. We actually do a lot of shows in Las Vegas, in Phoenix. To Chicago. Yeah, we do have a lot of shows lined up for the <laughs> upcoming new year. Then definitely check them out on Instagram as well. Yes. BB Create. Yeah, BB Create is at bbcre.8, bbcreate.com. And you can follow us on Instagram. Awesome. That's our primary one that we like to, like to goof around in there. Dude, I am actually overwhelmed with the amount of art. I've been actually checking out a lot of collectibles and toys. There is so much to see, dude. And I feel like it's like so little time because yes, it's a full day, but yet, man, we're like a quarter way through and it's still so much to see. So one of the most iconic things is so incredible. The cosmic worm art is right here with, you know, with the Sundays. But also, he actually collaborated with Urban Aztec, too. That's the one thing I love with artists, you know, collaborate with other artists. And they bring all their arts together, dude. This is absolutely incredible, dude. And these right here are Decon exclusive. So, again, if you guys are here at the show, you guys can get those uh, those pins right there. All right, so this right here, look at Borfling. Welcome, fellow weirdo, dude. It's okay to cry. That's, that's kind of really true. <laughs> it's just a reason, honestly, why... We come on out and everybody comes out to Designer Con is to definitely see original art like this right here. So again, guys, if you guys haven't, please go out and support them, follow them, share their share their content. But yeah, this is a, incredible, dude. Dude, I love, love this booth so much, man. It is so, so awesome. It's polyphony. And holy cow, dude, it's just, it's fun. A hundred percent. This booth is so, so fun to see. And I love to see all the different types of art, the figures. It's so awesome. Okay, we got Bernie, the org. Hello, my name is Theo, and my brand is The Teddy Garden. Uh, you can find me on all socials under that handle. 
and I created Crowley, who is a little crow. Um, he, uh, I initially made him to take with me to a convention in the UK, really wanted to have a character, then the pandemic happened, but now I've since written a 15 page screenplay for an animated short, so uh, hopefully next year I'll get that started, um, but in the meantime, he is continually a source of inspiration for me. Stickers, I've done cards, prints, t-shirts, he is like, whenever I feel like I need to just make something artistic, I can usually count on him to like generate some creative inspiration. And I've since rebranded from the King Crow Studio, which is what I was originally, to the Teddy Garden. And uh, Crowley is the gardener for the Teddy Garden. So he's very much still a staple character in my brand and my artistic vision. All right, guys, check it out. We're gonna deep dive into this Super 7 booth right here. Dude, look at this, the weirdest. You got the DND here. You got <laughs> Wing Kong. Oh, of course, look at this. We got the Power Rangers here. Definitely can't wait for the Power of Morphicon. And of course, we get the Princess Bride. And hey, one of these days, you guys are gonna have your own Wonka. That's right, look at this, check this out. From the actual movie itself. So yes, dude, when you actually come to Super A, dude, you can find every bit of amazing uh, for me in general, is figures. Dude, it is so, so cool. Here at Designer Con, dude, there's a lot of artists, dude. And now the one thing I do love, and actually what I've been noticing, is that here at Designer Con, not only can you actually get just a piece of art, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can smell it, you, but you can definitely talk to the artist behind the art. That's the one thing why it makes it so intimate, is that you can definitely just feel the emotion and the passion that comes from that one piece of art. See, and we even get Johnny Cupcake Clothing Company here at Decon, dude. Dude, check out these tiki's right here. Look at these tiki cups, dude. Absolutely incredible. You get this was actually one of my favorites. But look at this. We got the creature from the Black Lagoon back over here. Wow, definitely going out and scoped them out. It is big. Look at we got big studios right there. The most part, I'm finding shiny, shiny, shiny. There's shiny everywhere, dude. It's so so incredible. This entire place is has so many amazing artists has so many amazing collectibles, so many amazing toys, apparel, uh, arts. Uh, there's just so much to this place. It's probably gonna be a decent sized video, but hey, we still got so much to see. So let's go. Uh, good guys, definitely follow them. <laughs> oh, this boot is so cool. Look at this. See, this is why we come over and definitely check out here at Designer Con. It's so incredible. But definitely go out and find it right now. Look at this QR code right there and here as well. Oh, uh, see, we can't get away from these monsters. Check it out. Look at this. Holy cow. Dude, okay. This brings... So this is called a Monster Patrol Toys. And look at this, man. We're here at Designer Con checking out some amazing sculptures, some amazing artists. Look at these. You will never find it anywhere else. That's why I love Designer Con. That's why I love these conventions because they bring out amazing artists like this. And of course, you get you know the mama dinosaurs with their with their babies right there. This is so cool. Definitely going out and scope them out today, guys.
So let's definitely highlight another awesome vendor, which is Thumbs. They actually flew here from England. And man, their ARP displays are so vivid, so vibrant, and so bright. It is so incredible. I love their use of the frames as well. They do have a Pokemon-ish type card. Uh, they do have some skateboards, they have some figures. Dude, go on out right now and scope them out today. How's it going? Uh, my name is Randy, and creator of the Harshmallows, a group of anthropomorphic marshmallows born in the forest out of a response to humans' destruction of nature. Here on the table, we got the Harshmallows side characters. These are the Harsh Room, um, little mushroom characters that come with magnetically interchangeable cap. Next up, we got the Stumpies down here, a little tree stump characters. A little bit down the way here, we got some bamboo stumps, the Bambros, some birch birch stumps as well, the Birch Brothers. This is one of five main characters. His name is Leon. Um, we got five main characters back there that I'm developing the story for. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll see that somewhere. <laughs> and these are the kind of the original um, marshmallows with the chocolate top. Uh, this is my little facial hair series, basically. But well, that's my, my fun world. And uh, you can find me always on Instagram at the Harshmellows. Uh, all right, so I had to take a quick minute. <laughs> a quick breather there's a lot happening there i walked around the, the showroom floor a lot of times well, i talked to a lot of artists we definitely saw og slick which okay so og slick when i first actually met him was with garment printers he introduced me to og slick now the one thing i loved about og slick was that his la sign so he has an la on his on it with, with the hands he actually did something for the la rams so they actually did a, a mural of when the rams won the super bowl and OG Slick, like I guess someone saw that and at the Rams draft house, they actually inputted the, the LA, uh, the hands and also his his mural. So again, that's pretty cool. I love, love that about OG Slick, dude. He was actually doing some signings, some free tattoos of his LA uh, symbols, his LA logo. This is a, this is a, this is a place where like-minded people, they get to come on out scope it out, find what they're actually looking for, talk to the local artists. What's up everyone, my name's Alex Elise, better known as Alex MDC. Uh, you guys can find me online, I've been lucky enough that I have a huge following on there and really I started doing art all my life. I'm from Mexico, I migrated to US and it's something that just helped me connect with everyone, right? And it, I really enjoyed Decon just because so many artists, I leave motivated here and really what I'm doing here is uh, a lot of pieces where I'm showing how to use tech, tech-driven art. I'm authenticating my pieces. So I'm using blockchain to really bridge the gap between traditional pieces and uh, tech pieces. And yeah, follow me. Check out more of my work on Instagram, AlexMDC. Peace. That right there is Yad Yadira Gutierrez. Now Yadir Gutierrez makes pretty much the entire booth in general. It's like an immersive experience, dude. You walk in, the floor she actually designed. They have the the bands that are over there and then all different types. They even have photo ops. Look at, see, you definitely got a photo op right over here. Oh, look at, check it out. Look at, it's Wool Buddy. That's right, look, all different types of buddies you can actually purchase here at this booth. But they do have an R2 unit. They got a they got an alligator here. But they have every bit of different kinds. They even also have monster uh, dryer balls as well. So you never know what you're gonna find here at Designer Con. Look at this. Oh wow, that is art to its max, dude. I love it. All right, so this one takes the cake. Look at this. It's all different types of jokers, dude. Wow. All right, this is awesome. Absolutely incredible. Oh, look who we got here. We got the mystery machine here. Oh, and that's right. 
We got Sweet Tooth in the building. Holy cow, dude. This is awesome. We definitely saw her back over at WonderCon. It is Padawan pins from one fan to another, dude. This is absolutely amazing. We got some prints here. We got some pins, of course. And of course, we got some stickers. Gotta get those stickers for your Stanley Cups, dude. So again, definitely going out, scope them out, dude, because you ain't hey, living my best Star Wars life. That's 100% true. They got some friends here, guys. Look at maintaining mediocrity, dude. Look at this. Ah, uh, we go from Padawan pins to some cuteness. Look at these. Oh, come on. Adventure. That's right. Look at this. This is so cool. Guys, if you guys haven't gone out and scoped them out today, dude. See, that's how this community actually is. Artists supporting artists. And that's why, for me, I absolutely love it. If you guys haven't gone out and scope it out today, dude. Wherever they are vending. Or even check out their Instagram, their TikTok, their Twitter. Every bit of it. Just support them. Share their content. Uh, buy their merchandise. Whatever you guys want to do. Again, this is why conventions like this are thriving all right guys so this is the creatures of decay now this is dingy dave dude and let me tell you dude some of his amazing artwork look at this oh my goodness one thing i do love about his art and about his you know this the, the art displays dingy dave is a place you guys need to go on out and scope it out and make hey you know what take home a shrunken head today just do it take a home a shrunken head Look at this. You know, you have that favorite boss that you know that you don't like very much. Take on my shrunken head. Hi, my name is Lauren Alexander Sargent. My brand is Turdcrete, and it's all about fingerboards. So we definitely had to stop by this booth right here. Now this one is the Hollywood 100. Now this was curated by Carmen Acosta. Now the Hollywood sign is celebrating its 100th anniversary. So for the very first time in designer con history, each artist in the show will be provided a figurine of the world famous Hollywood sign as the canvas for their creation. And again, it is so cool to definitely see their creation of what the Hollywood sign means to them. There is a lot, and I mean, I wanted to actually film as much as I possibly could, but man, there is so much to definitely see in this showroom. I hope you guys actually are watching this video and you guys, you know, get inspired. It is so great to see amazing artists come together and just showcase their amazing skills here. Happy 100th to the Hollywood sign. All right, this booth right here is so incredible. Look at this. Oh my sweet goodness. This brings so much joy to everybody's lives right here. Power Rangers time with the Dragon Zord. We got Voltron here. That's not just that. They do have an at at here. And then you get Mario and Bowser. And it definitely looks like Sonic as well. Dude, this is actually it's incredible. God, guys, if you guys haven't gone out and scope him out today, if you guys haven't already. Always something running in his head that he wanted to work out or, or do. Yeah, my sense was that, you know, he had a job. Disney was a job, and that job afforded him the ability to do other things. But he was always doing other things. Like since since the beginning, so he never really stopped doing some kind of art, whether it was the black and white line work, the paintings, or the sculptures. Because you know, once he went to Imagineering, you know, he started building models and he started sculpting things. So his his three dimensional side got put more to use.
again, you have your comic cons, you have your different types of conventions like anime, but this here, designer con, is all about the designer, all about the artist, dude. It is so great, man. I have been looking everywhere, left and right, and you never find the same thing twice here. It's almost like when you watch the movie Up and you start seeing Squirrel. It's, dude, my neck has been going back and forth now. If you guys thoroughly enjoy this video, make sure right now you guys do definitely check out DesignerCon and get your tickets because they're going to be back again, not here, but in Vegas. But again, if you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video and love artists like this, give this video an awesome thumbs up. Now, if you guys haven't and want to follow me on my many crazy adventures, make sure right now you guys are subscribed. Dude, and thank you so much for Designer Con for having us out here as press. Now again, I was actually running here yesterday with my best friend, Real Family Adventures and Memories. Definitely check them out, guys. And now we are onward to the next fun adventure. Let's go.